Hey guys, greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. I just hope that you guys are doing well and staying safe. My name is Ninad Bhatt. I work with Serpent CS and I take care of business development and consulting services over here. So today I'm happy that I'm coming up with yet another series of videos wherein we are going to discuss about uh, one more custom-made solution of ours and that's going to be the freight management solution. So as the word suggests, it's a freight uh, management thing, which means that it will directly be addressing the requirement of the people who are into logistics, who are into the kind of business wherein they need to deal with the consignments and deal with the freight kind of thing on their daily routines. So prior we jump inside the solution, let's also have a quick walkthrough inside the profile of uh, Serpent CS. It will, this introduction is uh, going to help those people who are uh, first time uh, on a YouTube channel so that they just get to know some more things about Serpent CS. So of course, I'll start by saying that we are one of the leading and prominent gold partners to Odoo. And we have been into this market since more than nine years, having our customers uh, in 170 plus countries and we have uh, offered them with various of our services and solutions. So currently we are viewing our corporate website and as you can see that, uh, you know, you just name a business vertical and we are into that. We are having something for that. Right from hospitality to retail education, real estate, healthcare, manufacturing and also we are having some of our clients uh, to whom we have offered with our uh, solutions and services in HR and payroll. Some travel agents are also some of our prominent clients and we could also serve some of the government agencies and departments from various countries. So yes, these are some of our happy clients and it's just not about the uh, uh, gold partnership of Odu, but yes, we are also one of the leading and a key contributor to OCA. OCA is the association of uh, open source uh, platform for Odoo and there are many developers and consultants uh, who have been uh, contributing their skills to uh, add some more values to the modules and applications, right? Uh, on the right, we can see that uh, we have some certified uh, employees in our teams uh, we are having uh, 80 plus developers and the rest of the people would be uh, the functional uh, consultant or the techno functional people and yes we are having the skilled people we are having the skilled uh, expertise over here and having uh, uh, odoo certifications right from version 12 13 and 14 as well so also we are available in on various uh, channels on various uh, social media platforms so that you can connect with us uh, we are having our youtube uh, channel as well wherein you are uh, viewing our videos you can uh, subscribe to our channel and click on this particular bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our updates and you can know more about other of our services and solutions for sure uh, to talk more about our uh, solutions i would say that uh, since we are covering majority of the business verticals we are having some custom solutions we are having 50 plus custom made solutions available to address this specific requirement of our clients uh, on top of that we are also offering the development customization and implementation services as well so as you can see on the screen that uh, let's say we are having property management solution we are having uh, a fleet management we are having uh, the construction management solution as well and we are also having multiple uh, other solutions to take care of your projects we are having a span southern module as well so there are many uh, such custom made applications that have been built on top of the odus platform and if I talk about our services, I would say that um, uh, majorly it's going to be the implementation because we are one of the uh, key implementation partners to Odoo. Uh, and on uh, and, and side by side, we also offer the customization and development services. Also, we are offering the support services as well to our existing clients and to our prospective clients as well. We are having 400 plus application on Odoo's App Store. Uh, these all are not, we can say that applications, but yes, we are right from the smaller modules to the fully walkable applications that we are having. And uh, today, as you can see that we're having 400 plus exactly 463 apps that we can found on our page on Odoo's application store. 
so let's uh, uh, as, as as discussed with that we are going to discuss we are going to have a brief look inside our freight management solution the currently the page that we are viewing is uh, the explanation that we have put on the application store of odoo and uh, you can see the versions you can see the uh, the same edition available in different versions and you'll also find uh, some uh, basic explanation how this application works and uh, which are the features which are the key functionalities of the application which can serve your purposes and which can um, offer you the fully functional freight management solution so you can know so many things about that if, if if the application or if the module is free you simply will have an option to download the same and try it on your own uh, or else in case of paid modules it will simply be showing you the pricing and you can uh, purchase the any of our modules online as well all right so let's jump inside the solution and this is exactly how the login screen will look like uh, as of now, I just have put an, an, an uh, explanatory image over here, but yes, we can put your company's logo over here so that it, it sounds quite customized for you. So that's how we are looking inside the solution. And yes, as you can see that we are having freight management application along with some more Odoo's application, some more supporting application, I would say, because it's not only about freight, but managing a freight company, managing a logistic company, you will have so many things to come across. And uh, for that, we are having the other supporting applications with the freight module over here on the screen. So this is going to be the main screen. Once you log inside the solution, this is going to be the screen, welcoming screen. And this is how we get, we enter this solution over here. <clears throat> So in this first video of this series, uh, let's just have the quick view of uh, how the application looks like, which are the major menu items available for us, which kind of uh, you know operations that we can perform. So if I start by the uh, the landing screen, if you if you if you click on the module over here, you will simply be taken to the major segment one of one of the segments uh, which will be used very widely and that's nothing but the uh, shipping orders will be listed down over here uh, right along with that we are having uh, the other uh, menu items to take care of your master data which uh, you know which offers you some more functionality to take care of your services customers vendors and agents right Custom activity is nothing but uh, when it comes to the inter-country transactions, uh, you know, of, of, of the freight, then of course there will be the custom thing will involve in that. And for that, we are having a separate segment in the solution. Uh, some more shipping operations can also be performed from this major menu item. Reporting, of course, we cannot avoid that because that is something which will help you further to take uh, the relevant and uh, the right decision uh, of your company. So reporting uh, says everything about how you perform and uh, all that. And of course, uh, prior we start using a solution, we will need to configure the same for you. So for that, we are having a separate section in a solution by which you will be able to configure your solution. You'll be able to configure your ports, vessels, airlines, and so many other things, which will just be taking uh, a few minutes to get it configured and Furthermore, you can use it, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the other sections of your solution. So as you can see that we are having this icon over here to switch between the applications and modules. Then the application's name, which is, of course, freight in our case. Then this uh, here, this row will be having the major menu items under which we will be having some further operations to perform. And we are having the records like this in fact in some of our screens we have that functionality that allows you to view the records both in kanban view or in the list view whatsoever uh, is quite comfortable for you you can simply choose between that on the shipping orders we don't have it uh, but yes that's that's how the shipping orders will be listed then if i talk about the top 
right corner of our uh, screen we are having the activity if you are having any activity to be performed today or let's say if you are having any late activity that you could not perform so uh, so far somehow then those notifications will arrive here then also we have uh, the direct option to uh, to talk to talk with your internal uh, employees right you, you also can have uh, separate groups and channels you also can have the personal chats as well and uh, we also can have uh, the general and common channel for all of the employees and for all of the users that are associated with the same company so yes uh, we can say the kind of messaging uh, is being offered over here here in this segment uh, then it comes to the name of a company it only shows uh, the uh, our company's name let's assume that we are working with one of the logistics company the name is shipwell logistics but yes if you are working in a in a multi company environment you will have an option to uh, select between your companies and you will have an option you will have the drop down menu i would say that by which you will simply be able to switch between your companies and perform the task accordingly and then we are having some login logout things uh, on the on, on the extreme uh, top right corner uh, let's say the documentation support uh, preferences to manage your user i mean the user who actually logged uh, logged in uh, the user will have all these options available on on this particular part so th so that is uh, that is that is how the navigation works we will be taking the brief look inside all of this major menu item by starting with the configuration because sequentially i think that should be the first thing uh, to take care of right to 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 have a look at because if we not have uh, if if we if we haven't configured a solution uh, you know better we will not be able to use it in the best way so let's go ahead with the next video so that's pretty much about this one and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any updates or any new video that we are going to post later on so thank you very much for joining in and have a nice day